you know, with all the sophisticated computer systems that we have now for controlling, you know, the actual queuing of the show and so forth and so on, there's no substitute for a really good board operator in many situations because uh, a, a good example is um, one that constantly is a problem is somebody is lighting an oil lamp or whatever on the stage or lighting a candle. Now, in the old days with an operator actually hands on, uh, you'd say, okay, what we want to do is as soon as the match is struck, you just kind of crack that, that dimmer that's the one that you're bringing up. So you get a little bit of a glow and then as the match is touched to the candle wick and starts to, to in effect ignite the candle and you just you ease up a little bit and then over the next kind of like count of 10, you gradually you come up to level. Now the point is that, okay, strike the match, little glow, touch the candle wick. Oh, the match is going to whack, just drop the dimmer again. And okay, start again. With the new boards, you've got to have the operator go to a manual mode right. to actually do that because the new boards, they just keep on going. Right. You, you can stop them, but it's hard to go stop, go back. It's back to your business of the jerky follow spot. Right. And the same with, with I think, the, the, a really good operator uh, is doing things, uh, in my case, is often it's, it's doing things with, which even I am not actually having to give notes about because they know, they, back to this instinct thing, you know, the same way as a good designer will come up with the right feel, a good fall spot operator will, will actually know instinctively, you know, how much to bring the level up if the person moves to a, uh, a brighter area and all these sorts of things. And also like how to frame the spot in, in various situations. If, the, if there's somebody standing beside that shouldn't be lit, they'll, they'll ease in a little bit on the, the iris so that it's tighter. Mm -hmm. um, so all, all the, uh, and as I say, it is ironic that there are some moves, um, some fades that uh, you, you really have to have a manually operated system to see. Funnily enough, there's that human aspect, there's that human element. But do you uh, find in theaters that you run in trouble when you say to the operators, look, I, I don't care what the call is. Thank you, stage manager, for making the call, but I'd like the operator just to watch the action and you feel it. Yeah. Do you get into trouble with those kind of cueings? Not, not if the operator is good. And if, if everybody's, this is the old business, if we're all focused on making the show as best as we can, uh, you know, make it look absolutely spot on the money, there are a number of times when actually even a stage manager may defer and say, look, you know, how about if I'll give the standby and then when they do X, when they you know, put their hand on the light switch or whatever it is, mm -hmm. or if it's shutting a door or this kind of thing, then the operator actually does it as a, a man, a, well, I say a man, does it on their own time. Right. Uh, because again, it, it, I mean, a good operator um, is worth their weight in gold in, in any of these applications, whether it be you know, building the cues or running the show, because you'll get situations where, um, say an actor, for example, in the course of the run of a show, uh, suffers an injury and their exits slow down. Well, if you get a, a really good operator, they'll say, look, I, I feel I should, I mean, this is still on the computer, but uh, it's now a 10. I think I'll just extend that to a 12. Is that okay by you, like to me, the designer? And I'll be going, yeah, fine, because you're in, you're in touch with the show. Mm -hmm. you, you can see. Right. Um, and, and back to the old business that, that the, what is the, uh, the lovely line that um, has come out of uh, the theater school a lot, that, 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 that theater is a people industry. This is Francis Reed's line. A theater is a people industry, and you must never forget that on any level. You know, we're always, we're dealing with people. And it's the, I mean, the audience to stage relationship is people to people. The, in my case, the designer to the crew is people to people. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, the stage manager to the operators is people. And, and people, management to the designers. That's right. Is people yeah, and people, people. The board to the designers. That's right. Designers yeah, and people, people. people sometimes forget that, that, that above all, yeah. theater is a people. Yeah, industry. if we can't practice humanity amongst ourselves, Ex how are we going to put it on stage? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. We can't. Yeah.